What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and Five Nights at Freddy's. Have I really been on the bandwagon lately? No, I haven't. I know for a fact that there is a new game that's being worked on by Scott Cawthon right now. I didn't really ride the whole FNAF World hype train, but maybe the sister location game that's being made is going to catch my attention. Either way, I wanted to bring you dudes attention to this. Scott Cawthon recently put out a brand new trailer for the brand new game that he's working on which is apparently going to be the sister location to the FNAF locations that we knew beforehand. I really don't know the backstory to be real with you, but I was waiting for this moment. I knew for a fact, sure, Etika, fine. If you're not interested in it, don't look up anything about it, but when the trailer comes out, you'll be able to tell from that moment forward if you're gonna be into this project or not. I'm not going to use the bias of, oh, there's so many FNAFs beforehand as a way to judge if I'm going to like this game or not. I'm just gonna take the trailer for what it is right now. I don't think we should judge the game just based on how many of them that have been put out there from before. I, I really don't feel like that's a good way to approach this. As much as many people wanna criticize him for, you know, saying that four was the last game, I don't know, man. I, I just want to see what this is all about, and then we'll figure it out as we go along, guys. So let's check out this <coughs> voice still a little messed up, but hopefully you understand. Let's check out exactly what this brand new trailer from Scott Cawthon, the creator of FNAF World. FNAF, <laughs> FNAF World. No, he's way more than FNAF World, that's for sure. Let's see what this is looking like right now. I really don't know what to expect. Well, obviously a lot of fear. So we're going through all the games right now. Okay, so now you're gonna show bro. What the fuck? Yo! What the fuck is this? So they're futuristic now? Alright. Is that the goddamn marionette? No, I don't think so. What in the fuck? So which Freddy is that? There's some brand new shit here. <laughs> Alright, brand new shit, definitely. Is a female ready? Wait, no, no, that's not female. I don't know who the hell that is. Right, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I need to, I need to start doing some research and catch up on the facts with this. Okay. So that was the Sister Location trailer right there. I don't know, from what I'm seeing, maybe this isn't a direct continuation of FNAF, but I don't know, it's hard for me to kind of get with it, but that's it right there, that's my reaction to it. I thought it would be a little bit more, uh, well, it, it, was, it was frightening in a sense, but it was also interesting to see the changes made to the animatronics. Now, even though I don't have any context, it looks like they're more sleek, some of them have way more different designs, even though you can kind of tell from the outside look who they are. But we, we didn't really see Foxy in that bitch, did we? We didn't, we didn't see a couple of them. We didn't really see Chica in there either. And we have this one with pigtails. Most likely we know who that is. Maybe, maybe we've seen some kind of hints as to what character that is or name or something. Interestingly enough, we seem to also have Mangle here, who's actually in full form. So I guess that kind of counts as Foxy, but I, I know Foxy and Mangle are two totally different beings. And we have a Freddy on the left who doesn't look like any kind of Freddy that we've seen before. And we have some strange dancing animatronic in the background. What kind of game will this be? Well, we can make some judgments from earlier on. It looked like the setting was way more futuristic. It was like you were in some kind of fucking elevator earlier. Let me see if I can pull that scene up real quick. It was only for like a split second that you saw it, but it looked like you were in an elevator. I think it was early on. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it looks like a fucking elevator right now. So I'm guessing this will be the room that you're in. It looks fucking frightening, but it seems like it's not going to be somewhere on the surface. It's buried deep underground, apparently. 
what the fuck was saying. Deep below ground. Why would there be animatronics meant to entertain kids deep underground? Or maybe there's, maybe they exist for a totally different reason. I don't know. My speculation right now is completely off. I need context in this situation. But guys, let me know if you're feeling this right now. I'm going to be doing my fact finding. So by the time you see this, I'll be, for the most part, fully informed as to what the details are with this new entry in the series. I was hoping this trailer would get me excited for it. It's got me curious. But can I say 100% that I'm ready to jump right back into the FNAF lore? Can't. No, I, I don't know for a fact, but we'll have time to look into it as time goes on. If you guys want to see more deep analysis into this, my boy fucking Razbowski. I already know he's going to be heavy on this, so you can check out my man. I'll link him in the description, but for now, I'm pretty much going to wrap this up. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.